Hey team, we are nearly at the circuit for the race day of the Nürburgring 24 hours. Arno has been very kind and driven us in. I'm going to try and get a parking space that isn't a million miles from the entrance. Um, but we are here um, and I'll keep you updated through the day. The race starts at four, so um, we've got a little bit of preparation to do before then. Um, but uh, that's when the action's going to start. So you can get all the, uh, you've got all the links on my Facebook page about how to watch the race there's the live stream on the official website and there's obviously live timing and then there's the GPS Alga app for um, I believe it's just for Apple devices but really really good app and you can follow us all the way around the track. I think track. there's an Android version I'm not sure but there should be one. I think that maybe there's also an Android version. Okay we're gonna get into the car park I'll speak to you guys later. Right. Hey guys, so just thought I'd give you another little quick uh, snippet of a video blog. This Hello. is Johan, my Swedish teammate. He's uh, absolutely invaluable to the team with his expert knowledge and superb driving skills and awesome accent. <laughs> Can you say something don't, in Swedish don't, for don't. the people? Yeah, welcome to Nürburgring. Okay, cool. Um, so I'll uh, speak to you guys later. Now. Um, we now have proper security on our pit box, so nobody can come in. You see there's lots of fans walking past outside. Um, it's pretty early still in the morning, but the place is getting very, very packed. Um, we've got a little barrier, we've obviously got some slicks blocking the way as well, which helps. And uh, we've got a little door with the security guard there, so you have to have a pass at something like this to allow you in. Oh, a team member. We've got some of our tyres here, so obviously those bigger ones over there aren't ours. These are ours, so one of the brand new sets of slicks. We've got several sets of these for the race. Um, they're lovely, lovely sticky Kumo slick tyres. And we've also managed to get a little bit of extra camber on the car um, so hopefully we'll be able to use those slick tyres better um, the tyre the wheels were quite upright so far the team have managed to find a way to get more camber so I don't know whether you can see this to see if you can see the angle of the front tyres anyway hopefully you can uh, we've also got some wets so we've got one set of brand spanking new wets over here they look lovely as well incredibly soft they will um, melt very easily if the track dries and we've got one set of scrubbed wet um, because one of the practice sessions was wet so you can see these still got lots of tread uh, but not the nice sharp edges of the brand new brand new tires so anyway I'll, uh, I'll get back to you later with some more interesting stuff as and when it happens the Aston Martin team guys scraping off the uh, dirty layer of pickup on some of their tires making them nice and fresh again that's an attention to Our tires catering for the next 24 hours. Hey, uh, hey. Our team tent, which was uh, where the car was being worked on before, is now turning into one of our sponsors' areas, which is energy drink. So we're going to have lots of. I have no idea how you pronounce that. Frisches Blut. We're going to have lots of that to drink over the next 24 hours. So, uh, here is one of our top guys, Dirk. Dirk, just say a couple of things for my English followers. How's how's the weekend gone so far? Yeah, I think it's, it's a good weekend and we hope um, that the car is so good running as, as now, um, the 24 hours. Cool, thanks Dad. First World Touring Car Race has just finished. Um, second one is about to start, so I'm just in the pit lane, just have a little walk about. They obviously share our pit lane. Um, they actually have a different paddock, but during their races they use uh, our pit lane. So this is our box number 27 just here, so we've got the Hondas outside us. Uh, so Tarquini and Montero. Um, so you can watch this on Eurosport. It's too late now if you're watching this vlog. This will be up 24 hours too late, but anyway, hopefully you saw it. Um, Jose Maria Lopez won the first one. He's a machine. Anyway, um, next section coming up soon.
This is my, my last piece before the race starts and I just want to say a couple of things because we've come from having a car which a week ago I really wasn't confident it would last an hour let alone a 24 hour race um, but now I've got a, a strange suspicion that maybe it can do this. Um, the team have done such a great job, helped with all the, with the help from all the, the kind of volunteer helpers who are experts about this kind of car, and loads and loads of little things. I can't even, I can't even tell you. So many little things. Just making sure that things can't break. Just reinforcing certain things. Just, just basically attention to detail. Things which shouldn't go wrong in a 20-minute race, but could shake loose or or wear out or whatever in a 24 hour race they've just all been addressed and I now feel like this car this little plucky underdog might do it I don't want to speak too soon but um, let's see what happens so hopefully we're going to be out in around 4 hours uh, I'll be out in around 4 hours and we'll see if we can bring this little thing home uh, but yeah, I'll speak to you later it's a push to get back in the paddock uh, when the grid walk's about to start Look at this, you literally can't move. I'm following a Porsche. Just had good fun on Dale's scooter there. It's time for grid walk. Let's try and find our car. I can't help but think we're going to be in that direction. Let's see, haven't found us just yet. Um, we're going to keep looking. We're going to keep heading this way. <laughs> Ooh, I'm seeing some cars that look similar to us. I found our car. So, I'm going to keep walking this way. And we find the underdog. Here it is. We're right in front of the Dorrent. This is us on the grid. And we beat all these cars. Crazy, so there's still a lot more that way. And uh, we're, gonna we're here with to Lucian, guys. who's going to do the first stint for us in our car, the underdog just here. Lucian, what is your strategy for the first hour? <laughs> Survive. Survive. We got we to gotta really get everything done. Um, without hitting any other car because at the end of the start and finish line the problem is the track gets super narrow and we have two super tight corners and it's over 150 cars so I hope that everybody keeps calm and we're gonna just survive the first two laps. And are you confident in the changes that we've made to the car over the last two days that she's gonna hold together? Beautiful, beautiful, everything. It, it, it's amazing what happened in the last three days. I didn't even think of it that, that it's possible, but we're here, the car is ready, the technical setup is super, so it's all good. Good luck. Thank you. They're clearing the grid. Here we go. I mentioned that I literally can't believe we're here. It's like some crazy dream. Two weeks from not having any kind of drive to suddenly actually starting the race at the N24. It's totally, totally insane. Thank you very much, Formula Fast, for making this happen. And uh, let's hope we can bring it home for you and maybe sneak a nice result as well.